So now SAPD has shown up the location I was complaining to. We got 90, or sorry, 709, 41C, uh, 7122, 81C, and apparently there's a criminal complaint. So they never asked me to leave the car. down here so we're just going to continue on our way and I will continue to record tonight and again you notice the officer was gloving up as soon as she showed up you got two more officers or another officer walking up It's uh, 118495. Yeah. So at this point, I'm recording the officers down here. They're pointing at me. When they come down and talk to me, I'll continue. Zooming in on the officer who's approaching me. I'm doing good. What's your name? Officer Montalvo. Montalvo. Yes, 1137. Yes, sir. How can I help you? So we're just figuring out what's going on. Uh, uh, why were you somebody. called down here? It's pretty disturbing. We're just trying to figure out what's going on, sir. What kind of disturbance? Just a call, sir. I don't know. She's the one in charge of me. She's asking me to talk to you. Okay, well, that's fine. When she comes over here and explains to me what kind of disturbance, then I'll speak with you. What's your name, bro? No, I'm not going to give you my name. Uh, the officer who's approaching me now, she, she has the right to ask that. Officer Cruz, how are you doing? Good. Uh, officer uh, 285, SAPD. Uh, what, what's the complaint? The complaint is that you've been, you know, standing in their basically lobby for over an hour. And so they're, they feel that you're harassing them. So they're asking and requesting you not to return to the property. Okay, well, they, they never told me that. Okay, well, so you, if you come back to the location, you will be arrested for that, okay? I'm, so, I'm sorry. Business, okay, and they're allowed to go ahead and deny anybody they want a service, okay? And so, unfortunately, you're not allowed back at the property, okay? Okay, so to make this very clear, where am I being criminally trespassed from? That area, that truck right there. No. So, that, anywhere near that area. So, if I walk okay. down this street... No, you no, ma'am. Okay. That's a, that's not acceptable. You, you've got to walk on the other side. No, ma'am. That's not acceptable. Okay. Uh, I'm telling you right now. If you go back to that property, you will be arrested. And what okay. property? Again, again, what I'm asking 507. you. 507. 507. No, that's I'm sorry. I'm asking you the street address of the property that you're criminally trespassing me from. Yeah. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Uh, it's either you give me your information or I take you downtown so we can go ahead and have you process so I can get your information. So what you're telling me is against Florida versus Hayes, you're going to transport me to the magistrates to identify me? A failure to ID, sir. It's failure to ID? Yes. Officer Montalvo? Yes. Are you aware of 3802 Texas Penal Code? Yes, I am. What, what is the requirement for you to arrest someone for failure to ID? 
cries to the servants who try to get information from you and you're not giving us your name. I'm, I'm not going they're, to. They're feeling threatened and harassed by you. Okay. And they are saying that this is not the first time you've actually come to their shop. So if you continue to come to their shop and they feel threatened and harassed by you, they will file a harassment report. So that is an option. Well, they can, so can they, they can they can continue to do that, but I don't have no obligation to present my ID to you. Well, then, can you please? I'm asking you politely. I can stand right where I'm at right now, and I'm going to. Okay. Do you have a supervisor available? Uh, apparently, he doesn't understand 3802. You don't understand harassment. Okay, okay. Yes, I do understand harassment. No, you don't. You're obviously a little bit intoxicated. Because I can, I can smell you from, from over here. Okay? Okay. 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 You gotta love the stupid SAPD bullshit. They play the, oh, well, you're pure intoxicated. They will always play these games. And regardless of the case, they have nothing to back that up with. Officer over there bullshitting about, you need to ID or we'll arrest you. Typical bullshit. And again, this is what SAPD does. Fuck SAP. Sorry, are you speaking to me? Yes, I need you to leave the property. Uh, which property? I need you to leave. Where? I I'm on a public street. I am already explaining to you. You smell intoxicated. Okay. And I'm leaving. Okay. Well, what? What is? I'm telling you right now. You smell intoxicated. And when you say, do I appear like I'm in danger to myself or others? How do you feel I'm in danger to myself? You have slur speech. Okay. You're obviously having to stand. Ma'am, do you know what a do you know what a TBI is? Can, can, can you just leave? I, I'm leaving. That's, that's I'm, I'm leaving. That that's okay. my, my point is leave? my point is Can you please leave? That's all I'm asking. I've already tried to leave you and you leave? stopped me. No. You are videotaping over there. I need you to leave. I'm not gonna leave the area to you. When, how far do you can need you, me to can, leave? Can you leave? Officer Cruz, I'm the trying other, to be polite with you. If you can go to the other corner, that would be great. If I go across the street, across Alamo, go ahead. if I go down to the Emily Morgan where I'm registered, is that okay with you? Exactly. That's great. Is that okay? Go ahead. Have a good one. Okay, you too. Thank you. So, what you have here is an officer who keeps implying that I am. Uh, unable to walk in a safe manner across the street which is obviously not the case um, she says oh well you're publicly intoxicated and again this is what SAPD does all the time she's sitting there pointing at me like I need to keep going but the light wasn't green so if I walked across the street she would say I violated a safety hazard and I was in danger for myself. However, at the same time, I'll turn around and I'll film her. These are the types of bullshit things that you have to understand cops do. And they will play that game all day long. They'll go, oh, well, you're publicly intoxicated. So, obviously, Mr. Wolf, down at these tours, knows who Jesse is. And I will be outside of his property later tonight filming, especially now that they've decided to call the police and try to, once again, infer that filming in public is against the law. Fuck Wolf Tours, fuck SAPD, and especially fuck this dumb young officer who thinks that She's going to catch you up on some other bullshit charges because she does not like 
the fact that she was called down here. Um, I don't care what her reasoning is. The facts are that she had no legal cause to approach me. She had no legal cause to identify me. 